forward the push timing like you're talking about, Winter. For LGD, if they do this, it's going to take some serious execution. LGD love having better late game. That seems to be their their core philosophy right now is yeah. no matter what, we want to have the kind of lineup that if the game goes late enough and we have even remotely equal farm, we will win. But they don't overextend too often. We, we're not going to see, like, if they get up, up by 10, 15k gold, we're not going to see them fall into like the trap of like what Hellraisers did that one game. Uh, I think it was versus e Hope, and they just drastically going to be able to stop them from breaking the base. So I feel this is a bit too passive of a lady in stage. But we, we'll have to see. Is these are some unusual picks? Not something LGD's shown much before, and perhaps they've practiced something that we're we're not seeing just yet. Yeah. So with that said, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. Zyorian Winter will be taking you through this game. Enjoy. This will be the second to last match on this stream. The final one will be Newbie versus HR coming up next. So we'll have a pause, guys. Good luck. All right. Hopefully you can get into it here. looks like uh, the lag gods are with us for now, Winter. What, what, is, what exactly does Kale mean? Kala. Kala. Lag already. Lag. Yeah, it's just like, it's lagging again. Okay. Uh, what, what, is, like, is the, the ka means lag and the la means just... Again. Again. Okay, lag again. Something like that. Gotcha. Interesting. So, an invade from LGD to get things started. All five heroes cruising through the jungle. Looks like they want to make Puppy's life a little more difficult. As I reckon they'll get some wards down here to block these camps. Yeah, I'm going to do the Iron Child Juggernaut. Dual in. Okay, well, they get a sentry down to block that hard camp. Where do they go from here, Winter? How many camps do you block? The, they need to block the big camp here, but this is a difficult one. A lot of positions are easily sentried and blocked. All right, and so they, they do block the big one. Just a couple of sentries here. I feel like a fight could break out. Zai. Lion has to be careful. On the low ground, Lion's gonna get left behind. Maybe it's Silar that goes back up to the high ground. LGD eager to take a fight here. S4 goes for MMY, but he gets hexed. Bristle still finds the kill on Silar. Puppy may go down, trying to heal best he can. He's forced to skill the nature's attendance level one and still falls. One for one trade. Nope, make it two. It looks like they did find that kill on the backside uh, onto the Lion. Yes, okay, RTZ helped him clear it out. So a two for one and Gold secret draw me. the first blood. Great exchange for them, though Puppy will have to go to lane to leech a little XP. Yeah, this is a, at least they got Puppy to slow down his jungle, but he's going to come here lane like you mentioned. He's going to take a level before he's, he's able to start jungling again. And Syla is actually going to move all the way back to the safe lane instead of the off lane. And the Darkseid will be dual laning with the Doom. Okay, not Tonight. quite the way I would have predicted these lanes to go. Hmm, they probably swapped the lanes, I guess, because Syla actually started with boots, which seems like he wants to go dual lane at, in the off lane. And here we go, Jula in July, chasing with the Scorch Earth and the Iron Shell coming in, trying to get Kuroki in the corner. Kuroki doesn't have a stun, only has his Wave of Terror. But S4. Or can he orb? Oh, the job, but Doom, he's got the haste, or the uh, the surge rather. In July, goes in deep, he gets the kill on Puck. Now Kuroki mans up, makes it a one for one trade as they dive this bottom tier one. Puck actually buys back here. TP back in, Winter. They want to punish this. They'll block in Faith. He might be fast, but there's nowhere to go. Even the little creep in there helping him out, and they'll turn it around a double kill for. Kuro. Was that buyback worth it? Yeah, it was a very cheap buyback and they made sure that Kuro <laughs> doesn't die. But I guess he probably wasn't going to die anyway. It was just about getting the kill on the darks here. Alright, so things looking pretty good for Secret oh out of the God. gate. Look at in July skill but just for the kill. He has a Scorch Earth at one point and level death at Oh Ooh. my no devour. <laughs> that that hurts. Just for the kill. Slows him down a little bit. So, uh, secret 4-2 to two here in the first two, uh, four or two minutes of gameplay. Arteezy doing pretty well in the mid. Up against the Troll Warlord there. Zai, well, having a slightly more difficult time in the offlane, but about what you would expect on the Bristol. Getting a big uh, creep wave here, shoving into the tower. Actually, already level 3. So, good news for him. I guess those initial kills helping out a little bit. Yeah, look, the lanes, however, are going pretty alright at the moment for LGD. Everyone getting their farm, and it's going to be about their greedy picks, how are they going to make it work? At this point, the Doom has retreated to his own jungle. 
Darkseid is the one actually going to be laning at bottom against the, the puck, which he's going to get most of the farm with the double I constant double iron shell, and Doom would be getting jungle farm, and with the orb of Venom would be trying to rotate around and get a kill, mm -hmm. since he already has one point in the level death. Yeah. So what level is Puffy up to now? Obviously a, a rocky start for him, looks like he's got some sentries down, cleared out most of his jungle, halfway through level 2. So a little bit of a quiet start for him, but still very recoverable. <laughs> yeah, he he just wants to make sure that he stabilizes all the lanes. Everyone is farming, and he doesn't really prioritize his own farm Whoa. as the Ench. Venge with three minute phase boots after that double kill down bottom. Yeah, this is huge. Wow. This is actually really huge. He's gonna be able to do a lot of ganking and moving around the map. Yeah. This Darkseid has to be very careful with the face boots of the Venge. Even right? just the right click yeah, power is this Venge. they actually saw this. No, I don't think so. Smoke rotation behind Zyab in the top lane. The Hex to get things started. There's the Earth Spike and definitely gonna find the kill on Zy. Now down bottom, gonna be another kill attempt onto Faith. It looks like Curl with those phase boots coming in handy. He'll be able to chase him down and try and keep up from the Surge. Orb across the tree line does have a healing salve, but S4 is there to knock it off. Kuro trying to get in position for a stun. Oh, they can't quite get it. Faith surges away, and he's going to slow side. Nice snipe there from Kuro. Finishes him off with a wave. Just barely got the kill. Yeah, that was really he close. He had like 25 HP, and the, the wave was 30 damage. Oof. That was close. Nicely done, though. Successful gank in the early phase boots from Kuro. Seemingly paying off. This Lycan is getting really huge. Just four minutes in, leader of the net worth. 2300 net worth at this point. And the Doom has yet to get anything done Radiance at this point. Le level is 1, level death is you do double damage on level 6. Lycan, Lycan morphing into his ultimate form. Gonna run in from top lane to try and help Zai get a kill on the Lion. Let's see Wolves on the way in. Lycan pretty low to bat. About half health. Darteezy jukes the Earth Spike. Nicely done. And they will get the kill on the Lion. Healing power. And still in the top lane, now Zai left behind, they'll chase him down, Scorched Earth making things a little difficult here, Troll Warlord gets a kill on Puffy mid all the while, and it looks like Secret do end up getting punished here, it's a 1 for 2 around the map, Yao getting that solo kill though, also having an Ion Shell to make it a bit easier. Yeah, the Darkseer Ion Shell would be really crucial for him to get kills, especially the Juggernaut and, and the Troll, both of these heroes will be getting up and close and personal with the enemy team. And uh, now the Darkseid is going to pop level 5 soon, Doom is level 4 and a half, and you compare it to the enemy jungler. Puppy sacrificed a lot of his time, yeah. only level 3 and a half at this point, but down Kuro bottom. Kuroki here, coming in from behind. Yeah, Dream Coil to start it off, nowhere for Faith oh to go, we'll try to surge away into the tree line, but they'll pick him off once more. Tough game for Faith out of the gate here, Winter, he is just getting picked on, 0 and 3 already. Yeah, he hasn't even been able to finish his soaring. Really, really, times are really hard for him. Yeah, now Zai takes over the mid lane, soaks up a little bit of the farm as Arteezy moves into the jungle on the Lycan. We'll have to share with Puppy. And for now, just trying to get all that farm. Puppy and S4 will smoke. They've got a Hellbear Smasher with them. Puppy only on brown boots right now. It's going to place that. Super ward, yeah. the super attack. ward. <laughs> I like that up on the high ground there. It really is a super ward. That spot is just unreal. Um, are they gonna move into middle? Looks like they may have a go. No, no goo coil. No coil. Up. Yet. No coil. No coil and no goo. Yeah, I don't think they can find this kill. They get pinged out. Is that dire observer on the other side of the river oh, scouts it out? Arthur, he realized Juggernaut doesn't have mana to do anything. He's oh. just straight up dead. It's a big solo kill. Look at this. Radiant or is he? In come the wolves. They get stunned by MMY. They actually keep the jug alive. Wow, that stun actually saved him by the skin of his teeth. That was really close. And the troll had to TP up. So even though Artur doesn't get the kill, still great space creation around the map, forcing a TP reaction. Yeah, it was actually two TP reactions as well. Two? Oh yeah, the, oh, the line TP'd up also. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so Puck able to pick up his power treads. First item won't be rushing the Blink Dagger, but getting some extra stats, feeling a little more combative perhaps. Hey, the power treads gives him a lot of solo killing potential. If he finds the Lion, if he finds someone half HP, the attack speed is actually very, very helpful for Puck. And not to mention the stats, the mana, the extra mana you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll still find a fair bit of time to farm here in the bottom lane. Darkseer 
Unfortunately for him, unable to really lane right now. He's back in the base. Finally gets his soul ring. But still rather lackluster farm in general. Well, minor gold lead for Secret here. About 500 ahead of this laning phase. Small kill advantage, but everybody seems pretty comfortable just sitting back and farming at this point. The smoke ruby from LGD. One thing they use the doom here on someone. Probably the most preferable target will be getting the doom on RTZ and getting a crucial kill on him. Well, they might be able to do it as RTZ pokes a little for far forward in the lane. No doubles back. Good map sense there, recognizing that there's a lot of missing heroes on LGD. Being in the off lane, he is perhaps one of the more likely gank targets. They will do the wraparound, however. And looks like they'll go through the Radiant Secret Shop here. Smoke soon to expire. Are they going to dive the tower for this? What's the movement here for LGD? Looks like if he pops the ultimate, it's off cooldown soon before the Doom. Oh, 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 he gets Hex. There's the Doom. Arteezy just walks in to the wrong direction. LGD, they get a payout here. The deny from the Wolves. Oh, Artur. What a player. That was nicely done. He's even done. blocking the path so they can't push the tower. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dear. Winter, the plays right now. Only the troll has Facebook. Zai on his way up. Even just that little block out, though. Buying them valuable time. Now a swap from Kuro onto Fates. Stun in tower range. They get a quick pick on the Dark Seer. Now S4. TP's in. Coil over the ravine. Orb forward. Jaunt to it. Yao gets punished as well. One for two in the total trade. And not even really one. Half for two, I suppose, with that deny from Arteezy. Half Secret. For two. Half, Half for two? Well, what do you call it? Is it I mean, it's, you can't say it wasn't two for nil. I think, it's, I think it has a zero. A zero? You think it is that? Yeah, two for nil? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'll give him a half. Yeah, throw LGD a bone, Winter. Come on. They're in Strug City here, but uh-oh, the wraparound. Zion Kuro going in a little deep. Earth Spike misses right away. Now Zion actually manning up a little bit here, doing some decent damage to MMY. Turns the back as fake. TP's in, and he'll use his stick charges. Zion recognizing he's dead, just wants a kill before he goes. Gets the Lion, even forces out an Omni Slash before he goes down from Silar. That was secret in control of this game. Mid lane. Yao, now in trouble. Arteezy goes into shape shift, zones him out. And they won't go for the kill. Instead, they just go straight for the tower. Oh, that kill on Zai was really costly. They needed to use two big cooldown ultimates. Stuxy ultimate, Omni Slash, and Zai even got a kill on the lion. <laughs> that, still that was a really, really good kill by Yeah, just pops his stick charges and goes man mode in that fight. The secret, they'll finish off the tier 1 tower mid. LGD put some pressure on the tier 1 up top, but the glyph comes out and they won't be able to finish it off before Kuro comes in to and make a defense. S4 has a crucial rune in the game uh, to make some stuff happen on the map. S4, the master of the runes, known for the haste, but this event, it seems like it's all about the invisibilities. Dream Coil Orb to start it off. Zai's here, big damage to bring down the troll. Doom on the high ground, thinking about having a go, but instantly retreats as he sees how quickly his troll friend dies. Well, S4 is going to be running really close to his blink after that few successful ganks and th with threats as well. Going to have it in the next couple of minutes and... Yeah, Mama Oya yeah, here still struggling to get his level 6 up on the bottom lane. Faith, level 8, has nothing. Just a headdress, soaring, 500 gold. Not even boots at this point, but he can pick it up if he wants to. Yeah, very difficult for him. So Secret, they've pulled into the lead, haven't they here, Winter? Yeah, nice 3,500 net worth lead for them after this kill exchange, or the series of kills uh, around the map. Venge actually moving into kind of a, a carry style build here. Phase boots in the drums. Kuro using that early momentum to now transition into a little bit more of a right clicker. Yeah, it's, you know, Venge has a really, if you take a look at his stats, Venge has really good stat game. Mm -hmm. 2.6 strength per level. 2.8 agility per level. Wow. He, he has a very good stats game. Oh, Kuro using this momentum to, to much much success so far. 4-0 and 4, hitting for over 100 damage in auto attack. Probably a Yasha coming next as well, if he can actually balance getting some farm and helping Puppy with the wards as well. Yeah. How many blades am I Puppy. Yeah, definitely playing the 5 here. Brown boots and sitting on that Earnest Shadows, but still finding some recovery farm. Zai now picking up the mechanism Radiant to go with his power tread. And what's Arteezy got in that inventory right now? I reckon he's closing in on the Vlads. Yeah, he sure is. Just the Morbid Mask away and has already secured the medallion. So Roche possibilities quickly opening up for Secret here between the Bristle and the Lycan. Just a couple of seconds of me time in the pit and they should be able to bring down the big bad Roshan. 
Now LGD rotate down bottom with quite a few heroes. Yeah, Bristleback has already a completed mech, and Darkseid is still struggling to get his mech up. At this point, Secret is having the better team fight. More team items, team composition items up, drums, face boots on the bench. Yeah, overall just better farm on most of their heroes. And LGD have a Midas on the Doom, takes a while before it comes online. Darkseid is still not finishing the mech yet. Juggernaut getting on the Master of Madness, Yasha, Quelling Bait, going to get ready for Roshan fairly, fairly soon. Yeah, I feel like Rosh is a big point of contention Tro this game. Troll has totally nothing at this point. Bracer, Facebook, 800 gold. Yeah, that's 4 picks up his Blink Dagger now from the bottom lane, so he's ready to get a little more active. Actually been relatively quiet this match, but both teams with a lot of Rosh potential, so controlling the pit is definitely important. You see already Sentry Ward's coming down all over that area. Down to the bottom lane, though. Faith initiated on Curl with a stun swap, and they've got plenty of damage. Impetus from Puppy is online and secures him a kill as he s achieves his level 7. Look at this, matching out the, maxing out the nature's attendance. Yeah, usually he takes stats, but this game you can use the nature attendance to actually help the Doom target, so I guess that's the primary reason you want to have it at the higher ranks in this mm. game. It might actually change the face of one fight, and here comes Arthur, popping his ulti, going on the troll. Yeah, Yao in trouble, beautiful body blocks from the Wolves, now it sets up for the Dream Coil, S4 making it easy as he gets another one. Bristleback bottles up an invisibility rune, and with Troll dead, I think Secret looked towards Roche here. And yep, absolutely, they move on in. There is a Dire Observer on that high ground. And they'll put an Observer of their own down, counter it. And now the Roche attempt begins. Roche attempt. Roche <laughs> the Roche kill. Was that even an attempt? God, the minus armor is ridiculous. Now they want to fight. MMY gets stunned up. S4 with huge damage. Brings him down. Silar makes it away, but they're not done yet. They're ready to pursue. Puppy with his nature's attendance out. Doom will scorched earth to get away. Now they look at this tier 2 tower mid. And she's going to go down fast here, Winter. Oh, they, every game I watch them, they always get really good farm on their cards. Like their net worth on their three heroes. And Zai is just always getting so much help from Puppy to make sure that he gets a good start, gets his farm. And yeah, Puppy sacrificing his own farm, own levels are just so worth it at this point. Uh, like the team is just always repaying him. Like it's worth it. Yep. They get to tier 2, and look at this, Secret go for the high ground, swap right onto Yao, Whirling Axes will blind quite a few, but they still bring him down right away. Mech popped by Zai, everyone topped off, now they get the kill on Doom and Dark Seer respectively. Buy back on the Doom straight away, but this tier 3 taking a lot of damage. Do Dyer have a glimpse here to hope for a defense? It's not looking oh like god. it. That's one blow, 290 damage. Oh my god. Look at these Warpath stacks, dude. This Bristleback is a machine. They've got a Vladimir's offering out as out. Is this GG right here? 15 minutes? They get the racks. It's not over quite yet, but they get a lane of racks before taking a single tier 1 tower in the other side lanes. And you know what? Look, look at the secret map. Guess what? All towers intact. All towers intact. The secret special. Defend your towers while you wreck your opponents. 14,000 net worth, 12,000 experience. This has got to be the game that Woo. has the biggest lead at 16, 15, 16 minutes. I would have to agree. We, there might have been some of the other stompy ones that are that rival this, but secret just continuing with this reputation of playing yeah. big and such crisp execution. We talked about how Worry, how we worry about LGD lack of lack of deep push and yeah. secret five heroes standing in front of her base. What are you gonna do as LGD? Yeah, I mean, we saw how much momentum Kuroki got from that double kill in the bottom lane, and now he can afford just to swap in. He's pretty tanky, not really at risk of even dying, and they even man up on the Venge. The support Venge can go blow for blow with a lot of the heroes on the die. I mean, look at this. He's at 6k net worth. He's right on par with the Juggernaut. Past the Doom. The richest enemy team on LGD side. Like, the richest hero on LGD side is just on par with the enemy bench. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Secret will get two towers in the top lane. They do lose their tier one mid, so it won't be a flawless victory here. But now look, the fake back. They smoke up behind Zai. They're ready to fight. Looking for the swap initiation. Smoke gets revealed as Silar pokes they, forward. They can stop in the coil and swap to break the coil and kill the instantly kill one target. Yeah, Venge still not level 11, so there isn't that second point in the swap for the huge range. Bristle looking for the S and Y. They still have two minutes on this Aegis as well. Secret. Press into the base now. They just walk up to the high ground. Zion the front lines. He's got the Aegis. Why the hell not? 
LGD looking for an angle to initiate, but is there even an angle to take this fight? Doesn't look like it. Tier 3 tower falling quickly. There's the swap onto Yao. Whirling axes, but huge damage comes his way. Zai takes an Omni Slash, but that's okay. Aegis will bring him right back up. RTZ with a BKB on. The Wolf just laying into the structures. Now Puppy in the front line, zoning out in July, and that's it. Yao's had enough. GG's calls. 18 minutes. Secret make quick work of LGD 20 to 7. A round of applause as winner is dubbed appropriate. What execution from Secret. Oh my gosh. Witnessing glorious victory. This is as good as it gets, man. <laughs> Seriously, that, that, that game is just beautiful. That is, is that just Dota perfection right yeah, there.